Hi, and welcome to Retroeric. In this video, we'll talk about the Plantronics Color Plus mode. About a week ago, I got a message on my YouTube channel from a guy called uh, Francois. He uh, informed me that uh, the Schneider Euro PC supports the Plantronics mode. So I literally dropped what I was doing and connected my Euro PC and tried it out. What is Plantronics Color Plus? Well, this was a graphics card, a CGA compatible graphics card that was first sold in 1982. It was CGA compatible, but it had uh, 32 kilobytes of uh, memory compared to the original 16K. And this gave it uh, the ability to double the color depth. So while the ordinary CGA had uh, 320 times 204 colors of a palette of 16 colors, the Plantronics had 320 times 200 with all 16 colors. And it also added uh, four colors to the high resolution 640 times 200. I remember having a Commodore PC back in the days and I also remember that the Commodore PC had a built-in program to test the uh, graphics modes and uh, in one of those tests I remember seeing all 16 colors at the same time. But also in those days there were no support in any known games or programs, at least the programs I used. So. This was just theoretical for me. But now I have a computer with the Plantronics mode. And also, just recently, these last few years, there's been made at least one driver for Sierra games. And we also have one game with native support for the Plantronics Color Plus mode. So now I'm going to show you these games that supports the Plantronics Color Plus mode. Of course, the first game I had to try was Leisure Sweet Larry 3. So as you can see, uh, we have 16 colors and uh, everything looks like uh, we would expect. Well, I hope uh, you liked that Larry sequence. I did a lot. 
Installing the driver is quite easy. After you have uh, downloaded Sierra Color Plus uh, driver, you get a file called uh, PC Plus DRV. You copy that to your SCI Sierra game and type install, and you will see that you now have a new uh, option. You can now choose Plantronics uh, Color Plus mode, and uh, after that, uh, run the game. If you prefer, you could uh, edit the resource CFG file and just uh, add PC Plus as your video driver. So what can we say about these uh, 16 colors? Well, my first uh, thought is that it doesn't look exactly like, uh, for instance, an EGA card. EGA also uses 16 colors, but uh, EGA has uh, a bigger palette. It has 64 colors to choose from. And uh, this Color Plus, so the Plantronics Color Plus, only have the 16 CGA colors. But it looks good. Comparing the colors as we're doing here on the, with the Plantronics on the left side and EGA on the right side, I would say they are surprisingly much the same. The EGA colors are clearer, more vivid, but uh, I had expected a larger difference uh, taking in consideration that the EGA has a much larger palette. This was just uh, a short part of the opening sequence uh, to Police Quest 2. The colors look good. I would have loved to have these colors on my Commodore PC 10 back in the 80s. Too bad that nobody made that uh, driver then. As mentioned, I'm running this from my Euro PC. Uh, with only 512 uh, kilobytes of memory. So when running uh, Space Quest uh, 1, I got a message saying I didn't have enough memory. And when trying the same driver with uh, Police Quest 3, I just got this error message. So uh, before showing you uh, my last game, I will tell you how I recorded this video. For the sound recording, it was easy. I just connected my uh, OPL3 LPT to my print port and uh, ran the AD patch to patch the Sierra games to deliver the adlib uh, signal to the OPL3 on the print port. For recording the video, I uh, used the CGA to SCART Pro adapter and I modified that to uh, deliver a 15 kilohertz VGA signal. I have a video on how you can do that yourself. Anyway, when uh, doing this, I connected the VGA cable to my uh, FIFAN VGA to USB recording adapter. And after uh, finding and entering the CGA timings into the configuration, uh, I was able to see and then record a 16 colors CGA signal. I was a bit surprised that it worked, uh, but most of all I was happy that it worked. And I can use this method for other CGA recordings in the future. I promised you one last game, and that is Planet X3. It's the only game out there that has native support for the Plantronics Color Plus mode. It also has uh, native support for OPL 2 or 3 on the printer port. So enjoy!
In case you have forgotten, I'll just show you how uh, ordinary CGA graphics looks. And uh, at the same time, uh, thank you for watching uh, this video. I hope you liked it. I have many more videos, so please subscribe to my channel.